Hi there, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, all the suggestions regarding how to remove a broken tap from this uh, aluminium cylinder head and uh, there must be about half a dozen uh, different suggestions in total but uh, the most popular one seems to be to use alum so I'm going to give that a try initially. Now I don't know what the ratio should be but uh, I've put four tablespoons of alum in here which is equivalent to uh, 60 millilitres and I've put 100 millimetres of boiling water in, mixed it up and uh, to be honest it's not all dissolved so I've probably put too much uh, alum in there and uh, the idea is to uh, put the piece in there so I can see the hole and uh, over time uh, I should see some bubbles coming out of that but uh, the idea is to keep it warm now it's really nice and sunny outside so I'll uh, move it onto the table outside and put a glass cover on it and that should uh, keep it warm in the sunshine so I've put it on this piece of black plastic to uh, absorb some heat and also put this glass cover on again hopefully to absorb some heat so fingers crossed that will keep the liquid uh, sort of fairly warm Well this is day two in the morning so this has cooled off overnight and uh, there's still a lot of um, alum in here and not dissolved so I'm going to put another 100 millilitres of uh, nearly boiling water in it try and mix that up Well this is uh, mid-afternoon on day two and there are some um, small bubbles coming out of the hole occasionally and I can't believe how hot this water is let's put this thermometer in Forty four degrees C. Not bad. Well it's been a reasonably warm day today but it's been overcast so it's uh, been a bit difficult keeping the temperature up. I put some um, uh, uh, more hot water in 100 uh, millilitres and then uh, stirred it um, but I can't see any sort of bubbles coming out of the hole where the broken tap is which is a bit worrying. Um, but it's uh, evening now so uh, to try and keep the temperature up overnight I've decided to uh, put it in the Cabardo Joe we've been using this during the day so it's just cooling off so fingers crossed that will help the process well this is day four and the alum doesn't seem to have had any uh, um, effect on this broken tap in there um, it has dulled the aluminium though which is a bit of a shame so if, if this process does work I think I'm gonna have to uh, do the same thing on the other cylinder head so they match colour wise um, anyway we'll uh, carry on with this method and, uh, see if it improves anything Well this is day five and to be honest over the past several days I've not had any chemical reaction where that tap is. So what I've done is I've refreshed the alum, put some hot water in and uh, put it back in there and to keep it warm I'm going to put it on this uh, sort of like food warming thing, like use for Chinese food. So we'll see if that works. Well that didn't work so now I'm using this camping stove. Desperate measures. Well I certainly seem to be getting more of a reaction now. So uh, I'll maintain this uh, temperature and see how we get on. Mind you I'm getting uh, plenty of activity from other areas of it as well. <laughs> There's probably going to be nothing left of this at the end of this uh, process. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well I've upped the heat to just below boiling point and you can see there the regular bubbles now coming out of the hole where the broken tap is. So uh, fingers crossed I'm getting a good chemical reaction there. Well this has been in the alum boiling for a day and uh, the, the tap is still in there but some of you have mentioned using the old tap and putting some needles or something like that and a collar on it so you can get the needles down the side of the uh, broken tap so that's what I'm going to try and do now bent them. Well I'm beginning to lose the will to live here and you can see here how uh, the aluminium gets discoloured by the alum. Um, so I'm having a total rethink now and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and um, use my CNC engraver to, uh, to get that out. Well the CNC idea hit the buffer straight away because I can't actually get the height on the spindle. Um, so I might have a go at putting it on the rotary table and milling that. Okay so I uh, centred the rotary table on the mill then I uh, put the part in on this vise and centred on the hole um, it's got a broken tap in then I offset the uh, y-axis by about 1.7 millimetres so now I'm just going to uh, drill to a depth of around about only 10th hour at a time it's a very fine drill uh, but 2 fluid end mill is this, it's 1.5 millimetres so I need to take it easy. Well, this is going to take forever so I'll get back to you once I've got down to about six millimeters well that's interesting as I was going down in uh, ten thou increments the actual tap seemed to be disintegrating and I got down to uh, 0.37 of an inch and I think that's the end of the tap that's just come out yeah looks like the tip so uh, I think I've cleared it which is good news so I think what I need to do now is to uh, set it back up in the vise and uh, re-drill this, drill it bigger and uh, then I can plug it and then I can drill the drill and tap the uh, proper hole. You might be able to see there it's definitely got the tap out. So now I'm going to open it up with this 8mm uh, end mill to a depth of 0.4 of an inch. So I've just made this plug to fit. So what I'll do is I'll use some Loctite 638 then I'll uh, mill it correctly and uh, then I'll drill and tap it. But I'll do all that off camera. Well I think I got there in the end. That's the freshly tapped hole. And uh, I did nearly goof up <laughs> again. I nearly started milling out this hole here that didn't have a tap in it. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I realised after going to a depth of about 10 thou. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, come out really well as that. Happy with that. Um, the only sort of disappointing thing is the alum. Um, it does actually have a bit of a dulling effect on the aluminium. So it doesn't exactly match the other piece. But I guess over time the other piece will tarnish anyway. Uh, but apart from that... I think uh, the job's done.
Well that was a bit of a tedious process and it wasn't until I think day five uh, that after comments from Earl and Colin um, you really need to get this alum just under um, boiling point for it to uh, for it to, help to work properly and uh, I, I, I had it sort of under boiling point for about a day and uh, I, I just got sort of um, a little bit deluded really and uh, I decided to order some more aluminium I was going to make another head and then um, I decided to have a go at uh, cutting around the circumference which did work and I have sort of come to the conclusion that the alum did um, work quite effectively in a way because I think it actually broke down the strength of the tap so when I went round the circumference the tap just sort of seemed to break up I think without treating it with alum I'd have had a bit of a problem there getting that tap out um, and I guess over time if, if you sort of like you know put the days in and the effort in alum will probably just uh, you know work without having to do the milling that I did but anyway I got there in the end I uh, hope the videos of use to uh, some of you and uh, I hope to see you later.